In today's housing market, we have two major factors in contradiction. Home sales are rising, yet inventory is flat or declining. Existing home sales are up 5% year over year in the first half of 16, and in June reached a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 5.57 million units, the highest level since early 2007. Imagine, it's on fire, according to the California Association of Realtors. But housing inventory was down 130,000 units year over year in June. So we're down a lot. Most homeowners are already homeowners and they typically sell their existing home before buying another one, which makes inventory decline even more confusing. If people buying are having to sell first, then why aren't there more homes on the market? Well, first time home buyers, people buying second homes and investors stand out because when they enter the market, they add to sales without adding inventory. So this tells us that the rising home sales and flat to down inventory trends are consistent with more first time home buyers entering the housing market. In fact, according to the mortgage insurance industry and HUD about FHA, they helped about 1 million first time home buyers in 2015. And the CAR, California Association of Realtors data, shows that the number of the first time home buyers increased about 100,000 from the previous year. This is the evidence needed to support the presence of the first time home buyers. And yeah, that's awesome news because we've been wondering when they were going to join the market and they're playing a large role in the housing market to come. What does this mean for the housing market? Well, the rising first time home buyers are expected to be a major trend in the housing market over the next few years, generating higher home sales while keeping housing inventory down or flat, which helps prices. The result is a tilt in favor of home sellers and a continuation of rising home prices and values. So now housing starts will be critical. Now for minding your own business. All right, with low housing inventory, getting those listings is even more competitive, right? So let's talk about one aspect of the listing presentation that can help you stand out above all others, and that's the listing questionnaire. Focus on selling the lifestyle, not just the house. They want to buy the dream. Ask the seller where they like to dine, shop, watch movies, and otherwise spend time in the community. Inquiries about schools, get them to describe the neighborhood and how safe it is, and ask them to tell you why they originally bought their home and what they liked about the neighborhood. All of this information will help you market the lifestyle that living in this home offers. Now, if you can begin to tell a story that's going to draw buyers, the more vividly you paint a portrait of what this life looks like in the home and the area, the more successful you're going to be and the more easily buyers can picture themselves living right there in the house. Create a storyboard for the home on your website, blog, and Pinterest, then share it with the seller at the listing presentation. Begin with the walking tour video at the top of your storyboard, then drop in the seller's own words to illustrate exactly why they fell in love with the home in the area. Use hyperlinks for the nearby amenities that the seller mentioned and their answers to the lifestyle questionnaire so potential buyers can click them, explore for themselves, catch the dream, and it also makes it really appealing for them. You can see that's really going to impress the potential sellers. Give it a try. Let me know exactly what techniques that have worked for you. We'd love to see that and hear about it. That's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a great week and let us know if we can help you in any way.